Okay guys, so this is the uh, iFlight DC3 and originally I was just going to do a frame review because I was sent the frame here. It's such a simple frame. It's a uh, unibody dead cat style bottom plate and a top plate. You could use uh, you know, uh, two traditional 20x20 20 20 stacks or 16x16 16 16 stacks here on this frame but this is obviously made for the DJI air unit, the DJI FPV digital system and this is well uh, probably uh, one of the biggest things that I've always wanted out of FPV is the digital experience in a micro. Now they do sell this as a bind and fly uh, completely built and one of the reasons why I didn't just do the frame reviews I, it's such a simple frame for one thing and it was such a simple build that uh, it, it's um, yeah, it's, if you want to build this yourself, you could do it very easily and use some different motors. I, I'm using the same motors that are on the Bind and Fly, the 14, these are 1404s, yeah, 1404s, 4600 KV. Using some different props, too, the Gemfan 3028s, and I think the Bind and Fly comes with HQ props. The stack I'm using here is uh, also an iFlight stack. It's an older version of the stack that comes in the Bind and Fly. The, I think this is the version 1. I think this one. The Binafly comes with a version 3 of the same stack. It's an F4 uh, flight controller and uh, I think it's like a 30 amp 400 AC. Pretty uh, standard stuff. So this build's super easy. Uh, I did a video on how to wire up the connector from the air unit to your flight controller. Basically the same thing here. Uh, just S bus and UARTs for Betaflight and I uh, just have to you have your, your mounting points for your camera you have this 3D printer part in the back here for the air unit that holds the air unit together between the standoffs and then you have this 3D printer part here for the antennas and then I have a little zip tie right here it's black so I can't really see it too well that holds the top one in place but the bottom one this one kind of locks both the bottom one and the top one in place and the reason this is like something I've always wanted is because uh, it's light and doesn't require any registration if you use the proper battery. So this is the thing about the DJI system is I think it's Part 15 certified. So you, need, you don't need any licensing, no ham license, no uh, FAA registration needed whatsoever. You can just buy the stuff and go and fly it. So 163.8 grams and then the battery I'm using is a 650 GNB 4S. You put that on here and we're coming in at 240.2 grams so definitely no registration needed whatsoever and if you saw you saw some of my videos before on the DJI system and you'll see more of them you'll see how great the FPV feed is high, high resolution HD video which is fantastic now they do market this as a freestyle frame but um, the dead cat flight characteristics aren't so great for freestyle in my opinion this is more like a cruiser uh, for getting like great HD footage and no props in view because of the dead cat style and the camera uh, placed forward of the props. Anyway, so overall this is a fantastic system. If you're looking to get into FPV for the first time and you want a great uh, experience, a viewing experience, the DJI system is definitely the way to go. I would not recommend investing any money into any of the analog things because um, that's all outdated now. If you're just getting into FPV, get something like this. Get the goggles and if you want, you can get the transmitter. This, is, this, this will obviously work with the transmitter, but you don't have to. You can use a you know different receiver if you haven't have a radio already. But if you have nothing, just use the DJI system. It's a I think the radio is like three hundred dollars extra. Yeah, it's a big investment at the beginning, but this is the way to go for FV for someone just starting out without any equipment whatsoever. So you can get you know I would say buy the buy and fly drone and go get the DJI system, which it's going to be the goggles um, and the transmitter and you're good to go and yeah this is going to be like really fun you're going to have a really good experience uh, flying this around at a park it doesn't make any lot of noise you don't need any, reg any registration at all and it flies pretty good and you, you're going to have a really nice uh, FPV experience I think uh, with that view uh, which is absolutely amazing anyway here is um, some goggle view footage from a few places I flew this at and also the HD footage as well I think I'll put the HD footage at the end. You'll see it flies totally fine. I, I didn't even do any tuning on this one. This, there's no PID tuning on this. It's just stock beta flight 406 on here. I think that the one you'll get from iFlight will have a PID tune on it, but I don't think it'll fly all that differently. This, this, this frame flies pretty stable, and this prop 
and motor combination is pretty good for this frame. Anyway guys, here's the flight footage. Let me know if you have any questions, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.